let's take a look at the anchor point for the transform repeater 1 and transform repeater 2. I have reserved this option because uh, you can only see the effect when you have finalized your animations. So this is for a reason. Now let's take a look at what happened when we try to adjust the X value and the Y value of the anchor point on transform repeater 1. You can see that when you adjust the X value, the entire thing rotates out and in, you see, depending on where the value is at. If you also adjust the Y value, the similar thing happens. It moves in as if a camera is moving through the tunnel of the motion graphics. But something different happens when you adjust the X and Y value for transform repeater 2. Let's take a look at that. On the transform repeater 2, if you adjust the X value, the animation tunnel will look as if it is coming from sideways. Let's see this. Let's play this and see. You see what effect that has given it. If you adjust the Y value of the transform repeater, the tunnel will either shift up or down depending on how you are moving the values. It project from the bottom or project from the top, all depending on what you have done. You can see that this anchor point can actually add some style and depth into your motion graphics. So you can play around with this, keyframe it depending on what your needs and creativity are. So I have reserved this for the last so that you see the impact it can have on your repeater motion graphics. That is it all for the animating a shape layer using the repeater function. Feel free to share your creativity with me. I would like to see what you have done using this lesson. So until I see you again in the next class, my name is SSB Otaro for Motion Digit.